Hello, thanks for joining me. Sprocket and I are out for the first hunt of the year. Hey, Sprocket. Yeah, you're tired. You're tired. Anyway, Sprocket and I are out for a bird hunt. It's the first hunt of the year. The weather has finally, finally changed into a fall pattern. Um, today it's in the low 60s. Just a beautiful day. Lots of sun. A little bit of clouds. A little bit breezy, but not too bad. And on this beautiful day, I am smoking a Nording 2008 Hunter hunting series. This is the the woodcock. And as is tradition, this pipe comes out at the start of the woodcock season and pretty much gets put away at the end of the woodcock season. It is a lovely pipe. I really like it. And in it is some McClelland 2020, which is a broken flake of Latakia Orientals in Virginia. So it's a very good, very good tobacco. Yeah, nothing bad to say about it. The Latakia is more of a condiment level of Latakia. You pick up some sweetness and you pick up a little bit of the Orientals as well. So it's a, in my opinion, it's a, a very well balanced medium light smoke. So let me give you a shot of the uh, the hunt right here. Let's go, Sprocket. Considering how wet this spring and early summer were, it's amazing how dry this marsh reservoir is. Some years it's dry, other years it's overflowing. Sprocket, what are you doing? Hello, Sprocket. What are you doing? Looks like Oak Wilt Hill.
So, what is the measure of a successful hunt? How dirty the gun becomes? How many shells have been fired? How tired the dog is? Hey Sprocket, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. How many animals were killed? How many animals were flushed or seen? What is the measure of a hunt? Good question. So, I guess the question is, what makes a good hunt? I know a lot of you don't hunt, or no longer hunt, or never have hunted, or choose not to, or are opposed to it. And I can understand those positions. But, for me, it's getting out into this acres upon acres upon acres of wild lands. Um, this particular area is part of the area that Aldo Leopold would have hunted many, many years ago. This is kind of the bed of what was Glacial Lake, Wisconsin, so we have lots of these undulated ridges. So we go from a marsh pocket to an upland to a marsh pocket to an upland. And there's puddles and all sorts of stuff in here. Quite the quite the diverse piece of piece of property. And for me, the measure of success is getting out here with the dog, watching the dog work, watching the dog pick up the scent of an animal, of the bird, figuring out where the bird is, locking up into a point. Um, being able to smell the smells of nature. There's something about fall. The smell of the leaves starting to break down, the plants starting to break down. It's a, it's a sweet, lovely smell. So, what's the measure of a hunt? That's it. Now, it's always fun to be able to find birds and connect with a few of them to have a taste of wild food. Today was a good day in that regard. We had six, six grouse flushes. Wasn't able to hit any of those. I took one shot, one very poorly placed shot, missed by a long shot. And then 13 or 14 um, woodcock flushes. Most of those were all over a point, so that was fun. And I was able to take a brace of woodcock. It's two. Kind of a weird year this year. Um, I gave you a shot of the, I don't know the name of that creek, but there's a, a little reservoir there that um, is oftentimes filled. Um, earlier this year it would have been overfilling, overfull. We had a very wet spring and a very wet summer, and now it's dried off. And all there is is a, a few puddles in that, the mud flats over there. And with the wet spring and summer, I don't think we're going to have very much color in these trees. I've been looking at the sugar maples and the red maples, and they're really not developing any of the red or bright, intense yellow colors. They're pretty much going to a yellowish green or a little bit of yellow and then falling off. So it's going to be a, a less than colorful fall. She can't have everything. Right? Hey. You ready to go? 
Now I'm gonna have to get the brush the burrs out of you. With the lack of any frost, we're about we normally have the first frost in central Wisconsin around the middle of September, September 15th, give or take. And now we're at the end of September, almost October, and no signs of frost, at least at this point. So everything is still lush and green. The ferns are growing. All the sensitive plants are still covering the forest floor. So travel was pretty rough today. Visibility on the birds was pretty rough today, but um, that'll change. It'll become a, a little bit easier to navigate through the woods in a few weeks. And hopefully I'll bring you some more of that footage. I wish I could bring you better footage of the hunts. Um, it's kind of hard to negotiate a camera. And a shotgun. And trying to weave through the tangles of brush. So, the video is what the video is. Hope you get a sense for it. It's only a sense of it because you can't duplicate what I'm feeling and what I'm smelling on film or video. So, sorry about that. Wish you were here. Hope you're having an enjoyable smoke. Hope you enjoy fall. And until I see you again, take care. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's go.